Greetings, viewers, and welcome to another episode of The Collection Crib. I'm your host, Tyler Cloud. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Avatar Banshee Rider Natiri. Now, I love the Avatar movies. I saw the first one all the way back in 2009, and I just saw the second one. But I never was into their merchandise. Never was a huge uh, collector of, like, the Banshees or any of the other toys that came out for either movie, but... I saw this at Walmart recently, and I was just like, you know what? This is cool. I mean, the movie, the second movie just came out, and you can put a black light to it and make the Banshee glow, and it's got Natiri writing, and it has a stand with plant life. Come on. I couldn't refuse. This is cool. Let's open it up. <laughs> Enough said. Let's just open her up. Okay. Just slice the tape up. And just pull it out. There we go. Put this in the background. There we go. And now we got the Banshee. Now there's a couple other versions of uh, this particular toy. Um, there's like an, I think there's like a brown one. And I think there's like a, a different version of this one. And it has different riders. Like this one has Natiri and the other has like Jake. And the other uh, uh, tribe leader, I forget his name, but let's go ahead and get the Banshee out. There's actually some straps here, and I'm not going to use a knife. <laughs> going to get my scissors right here and just cut those straps. There we go. Strap number one. Strap number two. There we go. I don't think there's anything else. So now let's go ahead and get the Banshee out. That's one wing. <clears throat> there's another wing. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, wait. There's actually one more strap. It's uh, attached to his tail. Let me uh, easily try to get his other uh, wing out. This might be the most difficult unboxing of the whole thing. Because I don't want to break the wing or damage the wing. Here, actually, let me just cut the strap on the tail. Maybe that'll be easier. There we go. And that made it a lot easier. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness, there is one more strap. Good lord, these straps are so... To the untrained eye, you just can't see them. Right on the neck. All right, now... I... Yep, there we go. Now he's good. All right, let me put the Banshee back here. And let me get everything else out. And... There are straps. <laughs> we gotta unstrap these cells. Okay. I think I can just take this one out. Blah. Push. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh. There we go, got the stand. Now for the pole. Maybe we can just pull that out. There we go. Now for the plants. Ugh. And the other, there we go. And now for the this one, the seaweed, I guess. I'm horrible with the plant names. Please leave a comment down below if you know what the plants are in Pandora. <laughs> there we go. And last but not least, Natiri. Who's actually played by the, uh, the one actress from the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I was like, whoa! Didn't see that coming. And it's not Karen Knightley. <laughs> it was the one who uh, slaps Johnny Depp in the face for uh, taking her ship. Yep, this one has a strap. There we go. Ateria is free. There she is. Ooh, the eyes are kind of creepy looking. I wonder how this will look in the black light as well. But yeah, she can turn. Her torso can turn. I guess I gotta get her on the position of the Banshee. Yeah, her arms, no, I, they just, they, they go up and down, but I wouldn't uh, move them side to side because they'll rip off pretty easily. But yeah, pretty tiny figure. Really, really tiny. It's like I don't know, one of those chocolate egg figures you can find. <laughs> I think Avatar even has those right now. Oh, please, uh, I don't even know what they are. Leave a comment down below. I know all of you know what they are. Those little chocolate eggs with the little prize inside. Hey, back then we had Wonder Balls. 
All right, now enough about that. Let's look at the Banshee. Look at this beautiful <clears throat> dragon. It is beautiful. It's got like its, uh, its harness on there. Its mouth doesn't close, but that's okay. There's like two other Banshees uh, in this whole series that are different. Like this one has its jaw open. There's another that has its jaw closed. And there's a third one. I'm not too sure of its feature, but yeah, very cool. Of course, that's where this, the uh, pole is going to go. Under the wings are like, uh, like a light green. Really beautiful. And I can't wait to see what this looks like in the backlight. Or black light, sorry. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and put the pole in the dragon. Banshee, okay. What? It's a dragon. It's, we all know what it is, people. It's an alien dragon. <laughs> so now let's put the pole in the um, coral. I guess what you want to call it. Ugh, come on, man. Get in there. Twisting it safely just so I don't... There we go. I think I got it in there. Okay, now to put the plant life. So let's see. Maybe this big one... A little big purple one. It's really cool. Like a purple uh, sunflower. Put that one right here. And here we got a small purple sea urchin. What is this, Freddy Fish? <laughs> so now let's see. I'm going to put this one, I guess, right here. Okay. And now we're going to put the uh, seaweed-looking one right here. All right. So now let me move the camera down a little bit. Remove the tools. And now let's put Nateri on. Let's get her on her banshee. There we go. Kind of put the antennas. Makes it look like she's holding on to them. Of course, her... Uh, Sinking up. <laughs> One with the soul or whatever. But yeah, this is a really cool toy. I really love the color. Uh, there were, like I said, there were three of them I saw at Walmart. And I thought this was the best of the bunch. Um, with Natiri as the uh, the rider. You know, definitely can't go wrong. And the Banshee just looks beautiful. And I can't wait to see it under the black light. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the black light room. I'm going to turn on the black light and we're going to see how the Banshee looks under it. Look at that. <laughs> that is really cool. So bright. So pretty. It's just on the, on the top. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, really cool. Nateri is riding a very trippy Banshee. <laughs> Here's like some of the other black light stuff that I have in here. We've got the panther on the log. We've got some stars in the sky. We've got a very, very spooky face. So many stars. We've got a unicorn. And a scorpion with a skull ripped off. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, this is the black light room and the... Dra oh, the I keep saying dragon. The banshee just looks spectacular. Look at that. Whew. Okay, I need to get out of this room before I really trip out, man. This is some very, very pretty stuff. <laughs> well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was awesome. I love the color. That was fantastic. If you can get any of the other Banshees, like, hey, create your own little black light world and trip out. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being a part of this episode. I'm going to give you guys one little quick glimpse of the entire set. This is beautiful stand. The sea urchins and the, the seaweed. And of course, the banshee itself. Love the color. Love the green. Love the blue. Love the yellow. Love the black. Like, all of it is perfect. Like I said, this was the best of the bunch of all the banshees I saw that are at Walmart right now. And, you know, McFarlane Toys, you know, they really outdid themselves. And they're known for making spawn toys. So, <laughs> this is really cool. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being a part of this episode of The Collection Crib. This has been Tyler Cloud, and I will see you all next time. Oh yeah.
Thank mm-hmm. you.